Welcome to the new television show, the advice show where our dear friend Pierre straightens us out about the facts about life and love. And here's Pierre. Pierre, how are you today? Did you have your morning coffee? I had two espressos. I'm so proud of you. What do you say? Oh, yes. Uh, you, you Americans call them bagels? Yes. Now, Pia, let's get to spot on and get on with the program. We have a letter from Maria. Dear Pia. Bonjour, Maria. Dear Pia. My heart is breaking. My lover of 20 years has left me and locked me out of the house. He told me by email it's over, and he stole my shoe collection. What should I do? Well, first, if you sleep with your shoe, you have stolen hard. And first, well, I think that you should go back and retaliate. Because when I was young, I remember, I had a brand new pair of shoes. They were red, red with a red coat. And I was wearing them in my neighborhood running with the children. And there was a young boy named Billy. And he said, Pierre, you look so funny in your red shoes. I said, no, these are my red shoes. I'm so proud. And you know what he did? He took my red shoes and he threw them into the Seine River. Pierre, how did you ever recover? It looked a uh, donkey. Well, no, not I was five, but uh, drinking, uh, yeah, forget that I said that part. Uh, anyway, I, I, I got all right because I have a, the jour de vivre. I, I'm so excited about last week. I'm full to the brain with, I don't know, next day. Next question, Pierre. Dear Pierre, I noticed that you recently broke up with someone. And I'm wondering, how do you cope with the loneliness and isolation after someone leaves you? Well, I was so this. She did not leave me. I left her. Mm -hmm. I'm a pretty of a ladies' man, if you will call me. I cannot stay with one woman. One woman is so different from another woman. It is like, it is like a buffet of dessert. How can you pick just one? My last more and more. She was, uh, she was very, she was like Crenbulin. I thought you once said that she was your life. Time magazine said that. Well, life is continually changing. So, the way you change your shoe, you should change your girlfriend, yes. So, Pierre, what will it take to love again? It will take a lot of self-reflection. And a lot of baggage. And a lot of wine. Red. Burgundy. And I will I will have my heart open again. But until then I will wander in my struggle. Okay, yeah, one last question from a viewer in Cincinnati. Pierre, I've worked at the post office for fifteen years. I like to steal packages when nobody's looking. Do you think this is wrong? Well, it's the first answer to your question is, you live in Cincinnati. Why are you living in such a weird place? Cincinnati, what is that? That sounds like cinnamon. No, no, no. First, you must move. And after that, you know, you get another job. You work at a, the uh, supermarché or something like that. Um, but stealing is wrong. When I was a child, a small boy, I stole a scooter from my next door neighbor. I never told him, but it was a great regret. So, stop sitting the damn packages. Thank you, Pear. You've redeemed us all with your honesty and candor. Any parting words for the viewers? Of course, I need a cigarette break. <laughs>